So, Mark, let's start from uh, NBC Universal. Uh, that is one of the largest uh, uh, global companies uh, in media and entertainment. Uh, could you provide uh, a brief overview uh, of the company for the Italian audience? Sure. Um, I'll also try and speak very slowly. So for those people who speak English here, if I sound very odd, it's because I'm going to speak slowly for those who don't speak a good English. Um, but thank you for having me. Um, so NBC Universal is part of Comcast. Um, we're a world's leading media and entertainment company. Um, we're made up of a diverse portfolio um, that consists of uh, TV, TV and entertainment. So you'll know a lot of the TV networks, content like Bravo and E and Sci-Fi. We're made up of news brands, so CNBC, NBC News, MSNBC. Um, our movies, pictures business, I think everyone in this room has probably watched. I watched uh, the new um, Minions film on the weekend, uh, Despicable Four, um, Jurassic Park, movie um, you know, award-winning like Oppenheimer. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got the parks and resorts business, um, which is doing tremendously well. And then, of course, we have our streaming business, which is obviously led by Peacock, as well as our other investments like Hey You and our partnership with Sky Showtime. Um, so at the heart of our business really is content, Alessandro. We invest about $26 billion every year in content. That's really the heart of our business. Um, as a result of that, we connect with audiences. So globally, we've got 1 billion people who consume our content globally um, across every single platform. And as a result of that, marketers and advertisers are incredibly interested in NBC Universal because obviously the reach that we have. And so we've invested a lot of money into, I'd say, technology. Uh, for the last 98 years, we've been very much a media company, but we have fast become a technology company as well. And so in doing that, what we are enabled to do is support advertisers to connect with our audiences across any platform at scale. And so we've really continued to invest in our advanced capabilities, uh, offering full funnel uh, uh, offerings to our marketers. And the most important thing I'd say NBC Universal is famous for is really driving results. Um, we're in the business of you know, delivering value for marketers who invest with us. Um, you know, we help them with storytelling to you know, engage with the audiences across our platform. And then my final point would be is that NBC Universal is very global. Um, whilst predominantly a lot of our business is US bound, we also resonate globally. And so we're looking to maximize the monetization of our assets globally. Um, and we're continuing to invest uh, with other partners inside the organization like Audience Express. Uh, to really enhance our capability. Quindi eh, una grande società, un grande nome del panorama media a livello globale, un'offerta molto variegata con il, con il contenuto al centro. Ma vediamo adesso eh, come opera a livello pubblicitario. Um, let's shift the focus to advertising. Uh, how do NBC Universal and uh, Audience Express work together? So when I first started about three years ago, the role that I've got is really about supporting partnership strategy, both across supply and demand. And a lot of the partners that we work with are predominantly outside of the company. So the usual platforms and other third partners that we work with. Um, internally, though, we're also working very closely with Comcast assets. So Sky is a great example, Sky here in Italy and Germany in the UK. Uh, bilaterally, we're selling into Sky and Sky is selling into NBC Universal. So we support that partnership. And then, of course, there's free will. Free will is the engine, really, that's driving uh, the one platform, which is our ad tech solution for NBC Universal. So we're partnering very closely with that team. And then, of course, there's Audience Express. So when I first met with Massimo and Davide and the team, it, it was in genuinely impressive in terms of their outfit, in terms of what they do. Um, they've been a leader here in Italy for CTV Solutions for a long time, as well as the rest of Europe, as well as in the US. So we've continued to work very closely with them. I think at the heart of it, when we sat down with them a couple of years ago, we looked at what our customers wanted, and the synergies between our two companies and our two teams was very close. Ultimately, marketers, most in this room as well, I'm sure, look for simplicity. They're looking for premium video at scale, no matter what platform. And to do that, it sounds so easy, but the technicalities that go behind it are very difficult. And a key ingredient for our business within Comcast, of course, is the free will tech that brings us all together. And when we looked at some of the publisher challenges, the way in which Audience Express Davide and his team solve some of the challenges around scale, the bringing together of different publishers on the Audience Express platform for us was a, an extension, really, of selling NBC Universal. So about a year and a half ago, we announced a public announcement where we were going to bring together a global marketplace. And we launched it earlier this year in Q2 this year. And so far, it's been tremendously successful. We've proven to bilaterally bring revenue and demand both ways. 
Um, Davide's team here in Italy are, are selling Peacock now, together with other European broadcasters, which is amazing. Um, and then vice versa, we have people in America now, New York and London, booking into European TV companies, as well as CTV partners as well. So we're really looking to, to build on that momentum at the moment. Quindi eh, una sinergia, una partnership che eh, intende rispondere alle eh, sfide del mercato pubblicitario. This is a great example of a partnership that uh, uh, tries to face uh, the challenges of the advertising market, right? Uh, Mark, can you talk us through the journey um, to where we are today working in collaboration uh, uh, on an international basis? So we talk a lot about trying to build a TV company of today. Um, the TV of yesterday looks very different to where we are to today. Sure. Um, I think from our perspective, we see NBC Universal as a full funnel marketing vehicle for marketers. Um, a lot in the past has been you know, focusing on that top of funnel in terms of awareness. Um, I'd say more recently, we're talking more about commerce and shoppable, which is definitely that lower end funnel. But I think the mid-funnel, which is where a lot of the excitement happens, a lot of the uh, consideration is, is made, um, we're really investing in technology across those three areas in the funnel. Equally, broadcasters, uh, TV companies, and CTV partners are also doing the same. They're going on a journey themselves. And so for, for us internationally, we're working very closely with industry bodies, trade bodies, associations. We're also partnering very closely with a lot of the other TV company to really share uh, the best practices and insights from our perspective, but also vice versa, to think about how we evolve uh, as a business. Um, what binds us all together is always the technology. And you know, from Comcast's perspective, we have fantastic direct relationships with a lot of the TV companies through Freewheel. And so from a supply path perspective, we're sitting incredibly well to think about how we can bring our teams to, and uh, different offerings together. With that, obviously, are challenges. It's, it's not easy, but at the same time, it's, it's certainly achievable. Um, the competition is heating up, right? There's more technology platforms coming out. Um, I'd say competition is increasingly getting more fierce. That said, yesterday, I don't know if you saw, but Evan Shapiro, who's a media futurist, uh, released his research that shared that I think it's about 86% of the ad time spent is with the, uh, the, the TV companies. So what that proves is that although the TV um, are having increased competition from some of those platforms, the investment that they're making like us in content uh, is winning the attention of audiences. And so it's building that momentum. And so the question is, how do we leverage technology and enable us to work more collaboratively together to harness this opportunity? And so the journey that we're on is one of collaboration. Um, there was a great summit in London, the CEO summit of the EGTA, which is a, an association for TV companies. And um, one of the key things I took away was that in order to transform, um, in order for radical transformation, we need to radically collaborate. So for me, my message is one of collaboration. Um, I think we've got a long way to go. I'm really excited about the work that we're doing with Audience Express, but I'm even more excited about what we've got ahead of us in terms of how do we, for marketers, solve for some of the biggest problems. Um, a good example last week, there was the Free Will Council meeting um, virtually, and a couple of brand CMOs shared some of their frustrations and problems. And the commonality is things like you know, being able to book in one invoice Uh, 10 different markets with TV companies and have the same reach of frequency you know, across the board and the same measurement. These are huge challenges for us to tackle, but we're committed to that uh, in working collaboratively with the industry. Quindi la collaborazione all'interno dell'industria dell è fondamentale. Um, Torniamo alla, um, alla partnership tra uh, NBC Universal e Audience Express, perché vorrei chiedere a Mark qualche dato giusto per avere un po' uh, una misura di quello di cui stiamo parlando. Mark, could you tell us a great example of uh, the partnership between NBCU and Audience Express? Um, I would say a really good example recently was the Olympics. Um, I don't know about right. you, but um, I thought the, the, the Olympics and the Paralympics was just phenomenal this year. I thought Paris and France did a, an amazing job. Um, from an NBC Universal perspective, we produced um, 23.5 billion minutes of streaming. It's the biggest in streaming history. Um, from our perspective, I think we produced in just 14 or 17 days about seven months of content. So it's a phenomenal achievement from a content perspective. As a result of that, the partnership with Freewheel and Audience Express, um, particularly in programmatic, 
really was exciting. I mean, just broadly speaking with the Olympics, because of the reach that we had, we had a staggering year in terms of advertising. It was our biggest advertising in Olympics history. Um, we brought on 90% more advertisers, and a lot of that was driven through our relationship with Freewheel and Audience Express. Um, together with the Beeswax team as well, we were able to um, invite advertisers that once weren't able to participate in bidding for that type of inventory. And so as a result, we saw about half a billion dollars from brand new advertisers into the Olympics, which is amazing for the sport and it's amazing for NBC Universal to bring that new diverse client base into our organization. So biggest revenue, you know, biggest opportunity to bring in new advertisers, and then from an audience perspective, you know, the streaming and the capabilities that we launched on our platform. And I think the partnership with Freewill and, and Audience Express was one of technology again. You know, the, the spikes that we saw in programmatic, it was able to handle that, it, we were able to troubleshoot and we were able to maximize the monetization. So I think it's a really good example of genuine transformation in terms of how we as a TV company think about such a major event like the Olympics and the Paralympics um, and, and integrate, you know, programmatic into a new way of, of doing business with customers. Right. Um, quindi mh, le Olimpiadi sono state un grandissimo evento eh, che hanno attirato eh, tanti inserzionisti eh, che hanno fatto aumentare le revenue eh, del, del gruppo eh, grazie alla tecnologia, alla pubblicità in programmatic. Certamente le Olimpiadi sono state un successo anche, anche qui da noi grazie a un grande palmares di, di medaglie e tante celebrità sportive. Chiudiamo ora questa conversazione con uno sguardo al futuro. Eh, Mark, what's in store for the future? Um, there's a lot. So as we continue to evolve our business and transform TV for the future, um, we're making some really you know, big investments in certain areas. So I'll, I'll talk on a, a few, they're not everything. Um, but you know, first and foremost, I'd say we have one platform, total audience. One platform is our ad tech, solu ad ad tech solution, which unifies all of our supply. So we unified all of our linear and digital together onto one platform. And with that, audience is a huge uh, interest for our marketers. This year in the upfront, we've transacted over 50% of our total upfront deals through audience-based targeting. Um, and so for us, in addition to content, obviously audience buys are gonna be increasingly more important. So we'll make more investments in that space. Um, another area will be self-serve. Um, I saw Paolo and, and Andrea at the back here from Mediaset. They're making great moves here domestically, which is terrific. We in America have made with uh, Peacock Ad Manager huge inroads with performance marketers. Um, it's really bringing, again, new customer base from some of the small medium businesses. Um, and it, again, I think globally, there's a huge opportunity to think about solving for marketers to try and do that on a global level. Um, so we're making some really interesting investments in that space. Um, third, I'd say is live sports. I think at Cannes Leon Festival this year, it's very obvious that live sports was a, a major theme. And for us, we're huge investors in sports content. So I think where we'd like to go with that is taking the lessons learned from working with Freewill and the Audience Express and Beeswax team. We'd really like to think about the NFL. We, we've just kicked off our season and the Sunday night football. And so we've just introduced programmatic into that. Um, we're going to continue to invest in college football and other sports and think about how we can introduce live uh, programmatic within uh, the offering. And with that will come add innovation. So add innovation across the entire funnel. So at the top of funnel, of course, that's where we, we've, we've for many years been a very good leader. But I think over the last few years, we've made great inroads in leading in commerce as well and shoppable in the lower end of the funnel. And I think in that mid funnel, the consideration will continue to invest in add innovation. Um, you know, to, to help marketers really go across that full funnel. Um, and then finally, I'd say global. Global for NBC Universal, we're continuing to invest. Um, we're bringing the assets together within Comcast to really create value, not just for advertisers, but also for the, the partners that we're working with. So we're going to continue to radically collaborate with the industry and work together.